Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Is it raining in your house? Isn't Hello, it raining? Teacher. Hello? Here Hello, it is. It is about raining here. Hello. <laughs> Well, 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 we are going to start. Even though we are only seven in the class, I think that later your classmates are going to get into it. Okay, what do we have for today's class? Well, this is the main goal, the main objective for our class. And I really hope that at the end of this class, uh, you will be able to engage in small talk using a variety of topics using socializing vocabulary. Okay, so it means that we are going to talk a lot in this class. So it means that you are going to participate a little bit more than the other classes because we need to practice your vocabulary. Let's see. To start <clears throat> with, we're going to talk about small talks. I'm going to highlight. Just a highlighter. Okay, let's see. I'm going to highlight this one. A small talk. What is a small talk? Well, the small talk it says that it is considered polite and casual conversation, also known as chit chat. Chit chat. This is like an informal way to call it. In social interactions or professional environments with coworkers. So it allows you to know each other. Um, and also, it is for you to converse lightly and make everyone feel comfortable, getting to know one to another one. So, what are we talking about small talks? What are small talks? Well, as I said, these are polite and casual conversation, right? In social interactions or professionals. So it means that whenever we are interacting with our uh, coworkers, we are having like the small talks, right? It is when we are having 
a conversation with a person. Okay, Rene. Okay, got it. Don't worry. Okay, so, so this is what I have for the small talk. I am giving you the information first, right? And later we are going to work with the book, but little by little, we are going to identify this. And then, do you understand what a small talk is? Do you understand it? Hello, are you yes. here? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. I listen to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just answer that I know that you are there, right? But if you don't answer, I feel that I am alone here. Okay, now I have the second one. Then I have this. But I need to erase the mess. It says, let's start. What small talk? I have already given you a definition, but now I have a question for you. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Why? Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Yes or not? What is a conversationalist? I am a little. <laughs> <laughs> but what do we understand by conversationalist? Mm, for example, when a person um, talk uh, much or very much. Okay. It's considered a power. <laughs> <laughs> well, but in a positive way, because a, conversion, a conversationalist, it is in a positive way. It means that you converse a lot. But how good are you at conversing? Do you like to talk? Do you like to converse to other people? For example, when you are there on the street or where you are going to different places, when you are alone, do you converse? To strangers? Do you do it? In my case, um, strangers, a person? No, but see, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> talk, talk a, a lot. Okay, you consider yourself a conversationalist, but with people that you know? Yes. In my case, okay. for my work, I I have a uh, talk a lot. Okay. What do you do, by the way? I'm journalist. Oh, my God. You have to. You have to. You have to converse. Um, even because if you want to get some news... Right? You need to talk a lot to different people. Yes. So, but Jennifer, you need to talk even with strangers. <laughs> yes. In my you, case. Uh, you have to. Yes, yes, always. <laughs> yes. Well, you have no option. Okay. Now, we are going to, I have here, let's try. When I wrote, let's try, it is because we're going to uh, have an activity in which 
You are going to talk. This is not a conversation because you are going to be alone. This is like a speech, right? You are going to share information, but what we want to check in this moment is your vocabulary. This is what I want to check, your vocabulary. Let me, give me a second because I am with the timer in this moment. Okay, we are going to talk about some things that you like. Let us vote. Do you want to talk about food? Do you want to talk about hobbies? Or do you want to talk about music? Uh -huh. What do you want to talk about? Or none? And my class teacher is agriculture. Which one? And my class is agriculture. Okay, uh, no, but, but, but in this case, we are going to look for topics, like general topics. Uh, and, and these yeah. are going to be, these are going to be the three options that you will have to talk. Uh, uh, okay. Hobbies, okay? You decide. We have three options. You can you can talk about food, hobbies, or music. No, for but, my, okay, for food. Okay, but let us see. Let us see. You are going to work with your classmates in different rooms, and you will take one minute. You need to time your classmates, for example, you are going to say in your in your team, imagine, oops, I have a lot of listeners. Oh my God, one, two, three, four, five. I think that I'm going to do it by myself, the different rooms. Um, for example, uh, Jessica and Kenya are in the same team and then Kenya is going to take Jessica's time. Okay, Jessica's. You start talking about the hobbies, and then I'm going to take your time. And Jessica is going to have one minute to talk about hobbies, but without stopping. You need to talk, 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 talk for one minute about hobbies. It's difficult. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, for everyone for everyone, but this is just an exercise. <laughs> this okay. is just an exercise, so don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Okay, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to make mm -hmm. the... Hobbies. I'm, you can talk about food, hobbies, or music. You have three different options, mm -hmm. right? But I'm going to create the themes <clears throat> by myself. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let me see. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Sorry, no. Okay, I have the first team. One, two, three, four. I have the second team. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all the listeners, to all the listeners, no los he puesto en ningún equipo, right? You're going to stay here and we are going to wait for your classmates. Unless you want to listen to them. Do you want to listen to them? <laughs> Since I don't have any answer.
Okay, so you're staying here and just your classmates are going to practice. Okay. Oh, oh, let me and como me permite. This is a reason that that because is your favorite hobby in this case. On yeah. the other, ah, okay. Give uh -huh. them more information. Ajá. Quiero, quiero decir que, que considero que es muy es un buen hobby porque es bueno para la salud y me permite, pero no sé cómo escribir, me permite. Try to say it, Elsie. Intente decirlo con los recursos, con las palabras que usted tenga. Ok, okay teacher. Como, como usted pueda. Trate de dar el mensaje, ¿ok? Ok. Sin buscar en la web, con lo que sabe. Y con lo que no sabe, pues, 
You said it in Spanish. Así vamos con Spanglish, right? But Spanish. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, let, let me... No, no rebusque. No rebusque vocabulario. No rebusque vocabulario. El que ya tiene, no esté leyendo. Eso la distrae. <laughs> yes. Ve a la cámara a sus compañeras y con lo que tiene, si dos palabras son, pues dos dice en inglés. Right? Es que las lo estoy escribiendo. No, lo que voy pensando. No. Ah, okay. no, say it. Say it. Say it. Okay. Uh, because uh, it's good for health and let me uh, uh, know more places. More? Places. Places. Okay. Places. Uh -huh. Only that. Okay. Okay, this is the way. Así lo tiene que hacer. Sin papel y sin uh -huh. nada. What you have here in your mind. Okay. Okay? Cute. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Podría ser. Bueno, está, está Jessica. Hola, Jessica. Cuéntame un poco más de ti. Y ahí empezamos a hablar de, de nuestros yes, hobbies. También, también. Uh -huh. okay. también. Ok, chicos. Pero chicos. No. no es una conversación, chicos. Ok. Por el, momento, por el momento, it is not a conversation. Esto es nada más a uh, Kenny Alicet. Yo le mido el tiempo y durante un minuto usted habla del tema que quiera. The hobbies, the food, or about music. Pero solo Kenia. Okay. And then Jessica and then Jose Adilson. Lo okay. que puedan hablar in one minute. Okay. Perfect. Okay. 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 Good. Ok, pero entonces ella lo va a elegir. Bo. Ella lo va a elegir el tema que nosotros... Elijamos hablar. Tell me, Kenia. ¿Cuál tema elegirías? Eh, después, después de los, después de jugar fútbol, te gusta estar con tus amigos, algo así. Y escuchar música. Eh, creo que así lo había dicho. ¿no? Ok, Mateo. guys. Dicho, estamos nah, ready para hablar I dos don't horas. Have favorite <laughs> music. Ok. You have already talked? You have already talked for one minute? Yes? Uh, uh, let's try. <laughs> ok, ok. Just let me check. A one more team and then we are going to close the rooms okay <laughs> okay <laughs> bye okay Be ready, guys, because we're coming back.
Okay. So we are here. And now I'm going to, well, let's see. We can have some volunteers, but I'm going to take your time. But volunteers, I'm not going to push anyone. Volunteers, I need three volunteers. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Teacher, una pregunta en Spanish. Ajá. Eh, va, cada uno iba a hablar un minuto de su hobby, de su comida, de su música, o, y, o era hablar, por ejemplo, de lo que al compañero que nos tocó en el grupo le gustaba no. entre nosotros, o era individual. No. Individual. Ah, ok. Ok. About your hobby, about food, about music, para about you. Pero solo uno de los tres temas, no de los tres. Only one. Okay. Okay. So, volunteers, I need only three. No quiero muchos. Only three. Y a los que vean más serios. Okay. Um, okay, I'm Jennifer. First. Okay, <laughs> Jennifer. Puedo ingres ingresar, quiero apoyar, pero no sé de qué están hablando. Okay. Uh, you need to talk for, for one minute about any um uh, about one topic specific music or hobbies or food okay okay okay, okay jennifer i'm going to take your time and you can start now okay um my favorite hobbies are uh, the first um, I practice uh, exercise. I'm going to the gym in this morning. is the very important for me because it's a, a form um, como evacuar the stressful because in, in my work, I have a situation very difficult in the day. And, and for me, it's a form the liberar. <laughs> liberal <laughs> and they change the 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 vibes in this moment and i have a, a change in, in my in my body in my man my my yes yes mente uh -huh. Bye. and i okay and the other uh, hobby is is walk i i like i like too much walk and donde sea <laughs> and anyway <laughs> Um, the other hobby is... I discover. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Jennifer. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. Very good. You could do it. Okay. Now, what about the others? Aha, uh -huh, volunteers. Another volunteer. Only one more. No, two more. I need two more. Oh, shh. Okay, me teacher. <laughs> okay, Moses. Okay, let us try, Moses. I'm going to take your time. Okay, Edison. Okay. I, ha I have three I have three hobbies. Okay. Uh, number one is uh, a cocoa farmer. Uh, in my world, it, it, it's a uh, I travel to um uh, much very much travel um the mountain the river uh, natura it, it's beautiful uh, it's beautiful the natura the the, the cocoa tree uh, some the agriculture uh, it's wonderful uh it's a hobby number one uh, hobby number two is um is a playing chess. Uh, it's a. Uh, I I like playing chess. And no. Um, no. Um, no puedo mucho. I can no. <laughs> I love you playing chess. If uh, hobby number three is a. Uh, is a uh, the, um, the travel to the family uh, the beach, um uh, the San Salvador city. Uh, the it, it's a full pupusas 
the family, uh, <laughs> uh, cho chocolate. <laughs> and Sorry. chocolate. Okay. Chocolate. Time is over. Time is <laughs> over. Okay. Thank <laughs> okay. Thank you, Moses. And the last brave student is. Vamos, yo sé que no es fácil. This is the most difficult part, right? I know. One more. Me, teacher. Okay, okay, go, Elsa. Let us go. Okay, I'm going to time. Okay, you can do it. Hi. Um, my first hobby is, is to do hiking. I consider uh, it's a good a good hobby because it's healthy and me permite uh, uh, exercise exercise me and then uh, enjoy the the naturaleza nature nature um, um, I like uh, to read because I consider that it's a good hobby too because it is very, very, um, <laughs> um, you, you can go to the work that the author described and you can enjoy this as well. Okay. Um, Time is over. Time is over. Thank you very much. Oops. Can you check? Yo vi que Wilfredo dijo yo. Okay, Wilfredo, did you say? Yes. <clears throat> oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, okay? Okay, Wilfredo, I'm but, going to time. In, in okay. my case, the topic is the food. Okay. But it's... Go ahead. Okay, but the topic is the food, but in, in my case, is for me, is better day. The, the weekend is on Sunday because I visited the, the church with my family. After the church, I always stay visited the restaurant. My family like the food, Chinese food. In my case, I I like Chinese food, but este for me only for the food, the Salvadorian food, because in, in always is pupusas, the bean. Eggs, but it's very easy when I like the made the food, but I cook and and weekend and Saturday I could always cook the lunch because I like the soups, the Indian uh -huh. Indian hands and soups, the beans. It's it's other soup, but. I like but the food because for my family, but the our uh, I don't know say compartir. Yeah. But uh, yes, but it's only for my three son and my wife. The other other family only for the weekend. I like me. Okay, very good, Wilfredo. So time is over. Desde hace rato, okay. But okay. let me tell you something, okay? Elsa, Wilfredo, Mouses, and Jennifer. This is the most difficult task for us when we are learning English. Yes. When we are learning English, everyone is exposed to listening. And I know, I'm sure that you understand many things. Most of what I'm saying, you understand it. And also, that's why I like you to write when I'm asking you to, to write on the chat box. 
because we need to practice writing too. But I know that the most difficult skill is speaking because we need to connect all your ideas and you need to produce them. Y todos los que los estaban escuchando, sin que ellos estuvieran hablando, estaban un poquito así como temerosos, querían, querían participar. Yo lo sé. Pero de alguna manera, el temor gana. ¿A qué le tenemos miedo? A equivocarnos. A no decir las cosas como deberían ser. But, esto que ustedes acaban de hacer, debe ser, de ahora en adelante, un ejercicio diario. No because I am telling you. Because we need, and that is what we are going to talk in a couple of minutes. Ya tenemos el recurso. Ahora es tan fácil, chicos. Ustedes tienen en su celular y pueden grabarse a sí mismos. Yes, okay. And then, talk. Midas el tiempo. Hable de cualquier cosa. Y luego averigüe más vocabulario lo que quería decir y no pudo. Averígüelo y luego lo vuelve a decir. And then you are going to start improving your vocabulary to building up your vocabulary. ¿Ok? Así que, thank you very much for the ones who did it. You did it really well, right? Y sobre todo, sobre todo porque vencieron el temor. Y si ustedes ya rompieron ese temor, para allá es easier, right? Así que go ahead, chicos. Now we, now we have already tried. What is next? Something that I was telling you. I know that I need to emphasize about the good aspects. And I have already done it. But also, I need to mention some things that make us bad conversation, conversa, conversationalist. Why? You have already experienced this, guys. It says, what makes us bad is that we think too much. Because we have all the information here. And then that's why it says you are too much in your own head thinking about what you want to say. Also, if you want to, if you are rambling, if you are uh, hesitating, or if you are holding all the conversation time, it is not given to other person. But this happens when it is when you are having a conversation. When you are having a conversation, you take too much time and you don't give the other person to talk because you are taking too much. And it says, the same is true with talking over others and being too verbose. Too verbose, it is too talkative, right? When we are very talkative, that is uh, to be very, being verbose. So, this is what we have seen. ¿Quién de los cuatro no se quedó así como pensando las ideas? ¿Quién de los cuatro no lo hizo? Todos lo hicieron. You were thinking your ideas, right? Querían decir algo, but you have all in your mind. Pero no, yeah. todo lo que estaba aquí, 
se quedó aquí en el proceso porque no, no, no podía salir. Right? But that is why we are going to practice a little bit more because in that case, you are going to process the information and of course, you are going to produce what you really want to. Let's see. When we want to speak, we need to take into account Speaking, indeed, is a macro skill. Speaking, only speaking, it is a macro skill. We have four macro skills. The four macro skills, macro, macro skill, are speaking, listening, reading, and writing. But each macro skill has micro skills. Each macro skill has different micro skills. For speaking skill, we have these micro skills fluency, vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. Fluency, vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. When we are speaking, the first thing that you need to have is vocabulary. The second, it is that you need to know grammar. If you have vocabulary, if you know grammar, you know how to structure all the sentences. Now that you have vocabulary, that you have grammar, you need to pronounce well. And finally, when you have vocabulary, you have grammar, you have pronunciation, we can get fluency. And what is fluency? Well, we are going to define each of them. For example, we have the first one. As I said, fluency. It is defined as or here it says, if you can speak for an extended period of time, that is an indicator of strong fluency. Strong fluency. So it means, I'm going to give you something. Así como Jennifer goes to the gym, I think that Jennifer espera ver resultados in her body, in her physical um, health, right? Por eso vamos al gym, right? Because we, we want to be healthy. But, ¿qué tiene que hacer eh, Jennifer para ver resultados? Jennifer? I need a more practice. In the, in the all the days. Is you a, need, a, a, you a need to go to the gym, yeah. You need yes. to create a discipline for going to the gym. Yes, but... Yes. Is the she need the the eat food food is is vegetable protein? Of course, of course, but yes, it is but like it, a compliment. It is not just going yes. to the gym, but yes. it is a discipline. 
Yes. So it's, it's, I think the fear is, is discipline. Yes. Okay. But it's now very important. The exercise that we have already done, this key. If you can speak for an extended period of time, este no fue un extended. Este fue un micro, 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 micro exercise. Yeah. It is just one minute. Ahora, what you need to think in this moment is, is ¿Qué tanto le costó hablar en este minuto? Solo cuatro personas pueden decirlo. Porque los demás no se atrevieron. But now, Jennifer, uh, Moses, um, Elsa y Wilfredo, they can say qué tan difícil fue para ellos hacerlo. Yes? Yes, it's a difficult exercise because uh, you don't have uh, ideas that, oh, that this it's as clear in Spanish because um when you traduce in English is 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 the desafio. <laughs> yeah, that is a challenge. That is a it was challenge because we want to traduce and translate. you you translate. And not only you thinking in Spanish, not, not is thinking in English. Yeah. And that is the most difficult part, believe me. If you have listened in many academies, they say, you don't have to speak in Spanish. You don't have to speak in Spanish. And that is true. We shouldn't speak in Spanish. The problem is, que nuestro cerebro ya está cargado de español. We are not true beginners. True beginners, digamos, son los niños. Because ellos, a, a los niños no les importa la gramática. They just repeat, they just reproduce, they just connect ideas. But when we are older, we have our brain has been um, developed in Spanish. So the whole information here, it is in Spanish. So whenever when we are learning a new vocabulary, el español va ahí, ahí va. Lo vamos a poder evitar. Yes, but little by little. We don't have to be anxious. Little by little, you are going to manage more vocabulary. But that's why I'm talking about this, because we have fluency. How are we going to get fluency? Si de ahora en adelante usted empieza a practicar one minute, one minute, y todos los días busque un tema diferente, yes. maybe you are going to learn expressions, vocabulary, that is going to help you connectors because we need to use connectors for our ideas right teacher, so, teacher. yes yes we'll but, but in my case for example is but i need the thing in english because i when the conversation in english i think in spanish but for yeah. me it's very difficult but when you you think is I need the thing in English because este, estoy traduciendo when I speak. Yes. But I need is I need the thing in English. Pero no va a suceder de la noche a la mañana. Yes. Yeah. Sí, yes. It is not going so. to happen like we say that. Okay. Of course we need to think in English, but it's going to be little by little, little by little, little by little. And you will you will get it. But if we practice every day. Yes. Okay. Sure. You have yes. the reason because I uh sometimes we use a uh, a words a word words in mm -hmm. English like like what like 
like Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we can learn more vocabulary. Maybe it is not similar to Spanish, but we can learn more. Okay, so we have here now fluency and vocabulary. And check what vocabulary says. Being a good speaker means constantly building up your vocabulary. But building up your vocabulary, it is not learning 10 words a day, as I said before. Many people think that. Usted va a poner un listado de 100 words y en un mes me voy a aprender 50. Okay, go. But memorizing vocabulary without, without context, it's kind of difficult. That's why when we learn vocabulary, I ask you to write down sentences in context. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra solamente traducida doesn't help that much. But if you put it into a context, into a sentence, you will have a better understanding from that word. That's why. So we have to have vocabulary. We have to have fluency. What else? We have two more. We have to have grammar and we have to have vocabulary, pronunciation. As I said, we don't have to be perfect. Elsa was trying to, to when I was checking in different rooms, it was really hard for her to express her ideas because she was translating. First, she was taking notes and then she wants to translate every single word. But then I said, hey, forget about that. Just trust yourself and use the vocabulary that you already have in your mind. And it was a little bit easier. Probably you don't have todas las palabras que quieren decir. Maybe you have one, two, three, that you don't know how to say it. But you can use Spanish as a resource. Of course, it is not a sin. You can use it. But next time, okay, you're going to check. ¿Cómo es que se decía esta palabra? So I'm going to look for it. And then I'm going to practice. I'm going to repeat another speech. And then I'm going to do it better than yesterday. Yes, that's what it says. A good speaker doesn't have to use perfect grammar, certainly. But it is a good idea to make sure that you have mastered the major tenses. So it means that we will never stop learning. And not even in Spanish. Because we are learning a language. And language, it is changing every day. And finally, here we have pronunciation. Uh, we were saying, right, that skilled speaker can use the sub skills of pronunciation to emphasize and make communicative effect of this speech more impactful. Whenever, when we are using uh, the language, of course, you need to pronounce very well, but also, also you need to include the fluency also, you need to know, uh, for example, the intonation, the rhythm, intonation, stress, stress. When I say pronunciation, when I say listen, I'm stressing the words. I'm stressing the vocabulary. But all these aspects, they go together. Practice, practice. Practice, practice, and practice. We cannot achieve it just by reading books. Just by listening to the exercises. Once. 
we need to listen to the exercises 100 times. And you will feel that it is something really difficult. But as I said, don't be anxious. You just practice and little by little, you're going to understand much better the speech about some others, right? Okay. In our books, we have For example, it says the topic small talks. We have, for example, for location, company or job, we have for politics, we have for common event, for travel, travel, money, we have another one, bosses and likes or dislikes. I have here different equations. Is your company near the trade center? What are some of your responsibilities at the company? These politicians are a disaster. What do you think? Are you enjoying the seminar? This is a, a common event. Does your job require a lot of travel? Are you making good money in your job? I work for a titan. What about you? Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Todas estas preguntas tienen una base. The first one is talking about location. The second one, about the company. The third one, politics. The fourth, common events. Number six, travel, money, buses, and likes. So every single question that we have in the book, it is related about small talks. But as I said, small talks. We were talking about hobbies. We were talking about food. Nobody talked about music. But, and if we think about our job, what might think, what might be the topics for me to talk if I'm now thinking about my company? Now we have talked about a personal topic. But now let us move to the company. And in our companies, we are going to have all these kind of topics. Depends of your job. Maybe, maybe you are not going to talk about politics because in your job, you don't need to talk about politics, but there are some others that need to talk about politics. For example, I am so sorry, Jennifer, but Jennifer needs to talk and she needs to know a lot about politicians. Is that true, Jennifer? Yes, it's true. It's very difficult, this topic for yes. the people. Yes, but Jennifer, she needs to know and she needs to look for vocabulary. She needs to know about different topics all around of our country or all around the world. But maybe for another coworker, they don't need to talk about that, but they need to talk about travels. Because in her or his job, they need to travel maybe to Guatemala, Maybe they need to go to Honduras, to Nicaragua, to Panama, right? Because they need to go and make all the transactions. And there are some others that they maybe, they don't need to talk about this, but they are going to talk about likes or dislikes. We say outdoor activities, but it depends on your job. I'm thinking about a teacher. I'm thinking about a physical education teacher. Outdoors activities. Yes, you see how uh, we can uh, manage different topics. 
but they need to be related now about your jobs. And this is the question. Por eso teníamos la pregunta. How good are you at conversating with another person? Do we have the vocabulary that we need to talk? Yeah, basic, very basic, but you have vocabulary. You are not zero. You are not with zero vocabulary. You have vocabulary. That we need to work on that? Yes, of course. And that's why we have here networking. We have small talks and now we get into networking. Remember that we have already talked about networking. But have we already understood what networking is? This is what we have. This is the definition that we have for networking. Networking, it says, is the exchange of information and ideas among people with a common profession or special interest. Profession or special interest. Usually in an informal social setting. Networking often begins with a single point of common ground. For example, for example, ¿Quiénes han sido invitados a seminarios o capacitaciones? Tell me. Raise your hand. Quiero ver your hands. Raise, raise your hands. Okay. Wilfredo, Rosa. Okay. Capacitaciones. We know that capacitaciones, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. ¿Qué es una capacitación? Hello? Is the space? Is there? Okay, Elsa and Jennifer. Okay, Elsa first and then Jennifer. Okay. It is, it's when we learn more about a topic. Okay, yes. Jennifer? Is the space uh, when you receive uh, more information? Uh -huh. Justo como lo decía él. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's not. Okay, thank you. In my, teacher, in my case, but yes. I need the, the, the learn the tax. Okay, taxes. So, yes. your, jo your job is related to money. Uh, yes. Okay, so you see? that in the table that we had, there was uh, one topic that was related to money. So Wilfredo knows about money, right? As Jennifer knows about uh, politics. And the rest, that is what we are going to talk in a couple of minutes. But networking now, it is related to that. But for example, let us imagine that you're going to a training, a seminar or a training. Whenever you have gone to a training, ustedes se aíslan o entablan conversación 
con los participantes de esas capacitaciones. What do you converse. do? You converse. You talk yes. to them, right? Y But... de repente, usted se va dando cuenta que esa persona con la que usted habló resulta que es la directora de alguna ¿qué? ONG, al, la directora o director de alguna empresa, o maybe um, that is another one que está justo en el puesto que usted está, pero en otra empresa. A eso le llamamos networking. Right? Network. That is networking. Because de manera informal, right. in those trainings, commonly se ponen a, los ponen a trabajar, right? Mm -hmm. In different teams. Commonly se tiene el launch time. Cierto. But, but is in my case, I need to change the experience. You need to change the the experience, experience or experience. Mm -hmm. Experience, yes. Okay, but you mm -hmm. are sharing your experience to another person. Yes. To similar to your job. Yes. But that is networking. Because you know more people similar to your job. So it means that you are getting more information and you are getting contacts. Yes. That is networking. Teacher. Okay. Right? Yes. But when you talk about networking, you are the first uh, small groups. Or if not necessary, small groups. It depends of the trainings because we can understand like networking, It they can be online or they can be on site. That's what I'm okay. telling you. If you okay. are going to a training, it depends. Yes. What about oh. if the training is about 100 people and you are getting together? ¿A cuántas va a conocer usted de esas 100? Mm -hmm. Let us imagine. No. ¿Con cuántas uh -huh. va a entablar una conversación? Maybe in the launch time, imagine launch time, or maybe yes. in the activities that you were working together. Okay. I think that you're not going to talk uh, maybe to 50 people, but maybe, maybe you're going to interchange ideas around 10 people. And maybe yes, yes. you are going to interchange like closer information with five, two people. But yes, right. even if they are only two or five, networking, because you're getting more information from some people that they are not in your company, but it is another company that is similar to yours. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. I don't know how now. And now we have a vibe to this uh, reading that we have in our book, right? I will let you know um, because I'm moving to our book because it is better for me. I can get closer. Let's see. I'm going to stop sharing here. This is in our books, this page, this is page 26, okay? If you have your books, you can go and check this. What we are going to do with this article, first, of course, uh, 
I'm going to read it. You are going to listen to the pronunciation. Then we are going to analyze the context, the content of this one. Because later we are going to work in a similar one, but with your own information. Indeed, we are going to have this and we are going also, we are going to have a conversation about if we were in a training and you were like co-workers, right? That is what we are going to do in a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm going to read this article for you and you just uh, pay attention and check and I'm going to emphasize in some words that maybe you have some difficulties. And it says, Oh my goodness. This is the one. Okay, it says, last week, last week I had lunch with Alison a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did, did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Alison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy but nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to a large networking event. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectation for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. So this reading is based on someone who said at the beginning that she was going to overcome and she set a, she set a goal. And that is the goal. She said that she would have one networking meeting with at least five new con contacts this year. That is what she said. Going to different seminars, I'm going to have five new contacts this year. And that is what we are going to do in this moment. All of you are going to create in this moment networking. How come? How come? ¿Cómo vamos a poder hacer eso? For example, you are going to talk to to your classmates in your rooms. 
hemos hablado de ejercicios, han respondido algunos ejercicios, han hablado de muchas cosas, but maybe de lo que menos han hablado son de sus ocupaciones. Of course, respetando si ustedes quieren compartirlo. This is going to be a networking because we are studying the same thing. Everyone is here practicing, trying to learn English. Pero in this moment, all of us are going to be talking about your jobs. As Wilfredo said, nobody, nobody knew about Wilfredo's job, but he works with money. Jennifer, with politicians, not only politicians, but some others. But what about the rest? Nobody knows. So, vamos a ir a unas subsalas, vamos a ir a hablar. Como les digo, yo respeto. If you want, you share de qué trabaja y qué actividades realiza, right? And if you don't want to share real information, invéntesela, right? Invent information. But this is what we are going to do in this moment. Networking. Yes? In English, when possible. When possible. Porque si usted quiere hablar y no tiene todo el vocabulario, no lo va a decir todo en español. But try to do your best to use English words. Y si no sabe una palabra, you say the word in Spanish. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. But I'm going to recreate the rooms. You are not going to work with the same. Oh, uh, pero, 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 pero. Siempre seguimos de oyente, ¿verdad? Entonces siempre lo voy a hacer manualmente. Ok. Vamos a ver. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Cinco. Seis, siete. <clears throat> okay, now I've got the first one. Now let us see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uno va a quedar de eight porque no la puedo dejar afuera. Okay, I have. I have created only two different teams, okay? Only two, you are seven and eight because I want you to talk. I want you to discuss. I want you to converse, right? Let us go. We have five minutes. Go and practice, please.
Teacher, excuse me. Um, me yeah. puede unir a, 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 a la sala 2 que me sacó, no sé por qué. Déjeme ver. Usted es Lucy. No, Rosy, ajá. Yo estaba en la sala 2 con Jennifer y Valeria. Pero me sacó y no sé por qué. Vaya, déjeme ver. Ok, Rosy, sala 2. La mando para okay. allá. Ok. Entonces, tú, tú, Wilfred. Ok, It's, but you they change the money. Cacao. Yes, cacao, la moneda antigua. <laughs> yes, no, but the day Chafid Handel decía que la iba a poner nuevamente. <laughs> nah, no, I In my case, I... I work in the Consejo Nacional de la Calidad. It's my, my job is in finance. I coordinate the lo que es accounting, budget, and treasury. So, three, three, three person, but I, in my, my office, the responsibility is the pays the salary is the 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 bogus the national for the years is 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 generally you are the man of, of money no yes yes it's only for the finance Courses, doing courses, um, in practice, very practice. The um, about the edit, editing videos. No sé. Me entendieron? Yes, you my friends. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Who is the next? I want to uh, ask for, for Rosa. What kind of videos did you did? ¿Qué tipo de videos? Okay, you. <laughs> okay. Um, the different productions, the canal. Mm, no sé cómo decirlo. In eh, this case, the, the production, because uh, the channel is a, a very um, productoras and attends a, a child and a young and a adult or personas. Uh -huh. 
and a children. A children, yes. And Rosie uh, work this this the this con content and by a um dependiendo ajá dependiendo para niños o para jóvenes this is your asigna uh, in the channel because um porque somos compañeras de trabajo Rosillo ya decía yo ya decía yo yes yes okay thank you Rosie Ok. Lo explicó mejor Jennifer que yo. <laughs> no. I, I only uh, help and my friends in this case. Yes. Ok. Thank you, Jennifer. What about you, Jennifer? I don't have a, a, a talking because I <laughs> allow talking this night. I prefer this um, talk, the other um, classmate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Remberto, Valeria, Jessica. Ya hablaron okay. Jessica, Remberto y Mateo. No, uh, I am uh, operation analyst. I project rotation within the different line of business of company and para decir programo nuevos ingresos, uh, new new incomes pero es que eso sería program you program oh, program okay. uh, and program new income uh, prácticamente eso sería solo eso en <laughs> mí I work in Avicola Salazar I have to train new staff and check Sell and check remesas. ¿Cómo se dice remesas? She always say me, I need a change. I made the change, oh. and then there's the, and then she said me again, make out all their say all their changes. It's, 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 uh, it's you can you can describe video the the man the the dinner the man the the money is is Wilfredo. It's a man the money. <laughs> it's, it's great. <laughs> it's, it's a man the finance, no? The, the man of of uh, finance. In, yeah. in, in, in what yeah. company? Consejo Nacional de la Calidad. Entonces, oh, in, de Consejo Nacional de la Calidad. But yeah. it's, it's, it's the government. It's, yes, it's the section of the government. Ah, okay. I, I never listened in, about this company, but uh, it's, it's in El Salvador. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. But uh, is my my office is location is Ilopango, but is is for the Zona Franca. For for I. Oh. I so yes, he, 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 you you said where location your company. What? My location company is in San Benito. Um, oh. We we are uh, we we have to to branch. Yes, branch. Okay, 
uh, one of them are in a, a in the Lyco um the heading I don't remember uh, the casa matriz I don't remember how can I how can I say it? but yeah. in San Benito the is the yes thank you the headquarters is in the San Benito mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes is is true is close the Now we can say that you know a little bit more to your classmates, right? Is it true? Is it true? Don't you know a little bit more to your classmates? Are you yes, here? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, yes. Um, in the room, we are talking about activities or routines of the work. Okay. Now I would like to listen like a report. I would like to listen about, let's see, we can have like three volunteers to tell me what do you remember from your classmates' information? Do you remember the information that they gave you? So I need three volunteers, only three volunteers to share what they said. Okay. If you do not remember, may maybe, I am so sorry. I'm insisting because I want you to talk. It is not the same to talk than to write. Remember, right? But I would like you to type in the chat box. Okay. Teacher. Jessica participated in a written form with the team. Okay, good. Aha, uh -huh, yes, Wilfredo. No, Moses, Moses. 
Y en mi grupo es Wilfredo y José Roberto. Y, Ajá. y Wilfredo es un hombre de finanzas, el hombre de dinero. ¿no? Ok. Es, eh, um, José Roberto es un hombre de imágenes, creativos, videos. Um, Your word is a uh, from of San Benito. My work um, or his work? Uh, uh, his word, excuse okay. me. His, okay. His word. Uh, uh, um, his word. The, the Wilfredo is a uh, Ilopango. Um, this a manager. Uh, the the finance. Okay. Um, but uh, um, we 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 lied. Uh, at the worst um um in my case um is um the specialists um post harbors and um, quality the cocoa um chains of the certification organic the farmer yeah i love you my word um, oh, only thank you okay okay i'm going to i'm going to give you like a tip i'm going to we are going to say like this, my dear mouses. We are going to say, I love my job. I love my job. Okay, my job. We can give more information and we can say, I love what I do. I love no. my job. I love no. what I do. No, in the case the the I Moises, the no. the Moises is say the love the your the your job, but yes. it's very it's very important because when the people love the the work, is the fruit the work is when the other people dislike. Is, okay. is bored is for in in my case I love the my job because I like the the finance is the same with the 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 most uh, Jose Roberto this the fruit the your job okay your job. Wilfredo Wilfredo yes. and, and instead of saying this fruit we are going to say enjoys enjoys okay enjoys okay enjoys. so yes. he enjoys his job okay thank you moses thank you wilfredo okay now since we are practicing vocabulary and now that we have shared information with your classmates now we are going to continue <laughs> practicing our vocabulary let's see i'm going to raise this and now we have, we are going to complete this exercise all together here. Here down we have in this page, we have for example, true or false. We have five different exercises and we need to decide which is the correct. According to the listening, ex to the reading exercise, of course. But now let us see if we can answer these five statements. It says, <clears throat> I want to have this one. It says, Alison and Miss Tate saw each other for the first time last week. Is it true or false? Spoke False. each other for the first time last week. True. True. True or false? False. True. True. Okay. True. El que dice true, dígame por qué. Y el que dice false, tell me why is the reason for you to say that. Paso me callaron. <laughs> okay, no, but... Alison and Miss Tit saw each other for the first time last week. Borré porque voy a subir para que verifiquemos. Okay? Yes. 
Vamos a ver. Let's do it. It says, Last week, I have lunch with Alison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year. Over the past year. But we really didn't know each other very well. Pero que dice ahí en esa parte? Last week, I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year. Past year. Y aquí dice that they saw each other for the first time last week. Last week. So, so it's false. So it is false because it is saying here a new member of my network contacts. ¿Qué dice aquí? We saw each other at three seminars over the past year. ¿Se vieron, dice? In three different seminars. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo se vieron in the last three seminars? El año pasado. Over the past year. Pero aquí dice, Alison and me sit by each other last for, the, week. for the first time last week. Mm -hmm. So, so it is true or is, mm -hmm. is it false? This is false. It is false. Yes. Now the second one. Miss Tate set a networking goal for this year. True or false? Is it true or false? False. Okay. Set because, a networking goal for this year. Uh huh. Because? Because she says the last year. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, where is that information? In the first paragraph. In the first paragraph? Yes. It says, Fun. I set, yes. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-to-one -one networking um, meeting. Okay, so it means que Indeed, it is false. false too. Number three, Alison confessed she hated networking events. Alison confessed that she hates, she hated networking events um mm -hmm. the meaning of wording. what's the meaning of wording teacher what is the meaning of rewarding rewarding it is yes. like uh how can i say it like a like a prize that you receive after doing something but that is a reward Rem remember reward yes rewarding Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This this is false because false, yes, yes she 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 worries. This is the sentence. No, no, hated is a uh, uh, 
<laughs> preocupada. Worried. 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 Where can I find that information? Uh, First, says, second, or third paragraph? Second. In the second paragraph. Okay. Then she, she said, says, in the past, she don't like the large uh, networking event because she is worried. Okay. She worried a lot about before going to a large networking event, right? But she didn't say that she hated networking events. So? It's false. False. It is false too. Then we have number four. Mrs. Tate and Allison passed from small talk to smart talk during lunch. Yes. Yes, it's true. true. I gained more than a new contact. I, a new contact. I, passed. I passed from small talk That's to a new talk. Okay. Yes, right? Yes, it's true. And the last one. Miss Tate mentioned three benefits of one of one networking meetings. Is that true or false? Mention, she mentioned three benefits. No. <laughs> Last year. Yes. Three are several benefits of this practice. Mm -hmm. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you building meaning meaningful connections with the people in the industry. One, two, and three, right? Yes. One expand. That is one, improve is improve. two, and build meaningful, it is number three. So it is? True. True. It is true. Okay, very good. It is true. And now we are going to complete the last exercise with this one. Well, indeed, two more exercises. One, it is uh reading because i want to listen the way that you are reading i want to listen pronunciation first it is pronunciation in the let's see siempre ando buscando Okay, Jose Adilson and Jose Roberto. Are you both here? Yes, I hear. Okay, Jose Adilson is here. And Jose Roberto? Yes. Okay, you're here. And Matthew? Matthew? Mateo. Here. Ok. Ustedes tres son encargados de leer sí. los tres diferentes paragraphs. Ok. Ok. So, please, I'm all ears. You. Oh, my God. Give me a second. Ok. No logro borrar todos estos manchones. Ok. ¿Quién comienza? ¿José Roberto o José Adilson? Ok. Uh, ok. Ok. You do it. And, and start in the network. Yes. Yes. Ok. Network okay. contact. We saw each other at three seminars. Oh. No, here. Okay. It is. Por eso lo, lo moví porque estaba incomplete. In Zoom. Ok. Ok. 
Last week, I had lunch with Alison, a new member of my network's con contact. We saw each other at three seminars over the past years, but we really did not know each other very well. I see the goal last year. I will have one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Thank you very much, Jose Roberto. Second, Jose. During our lunch, Alison men mentioned that she was she by nature. I the past she said she were she were were worried were, uh, worried a love before going to large networking event. I felt surprised because she tried me that feeling I go I got to know more about her the industry she works in and about her expectation for the future I again I'm again more that a new contact I passed for a small talk to a smart talk. Okay, thank you very much. And finally? Here is my advice to you when you attend business events. Do not just go and dis discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to now at least three new people by sharing one-on-one uh, -on -one new networking, coffee, lunch, or, or dinner. Uh, there are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, you provide your networking skills, and you will meaningful connections with people in the industry. Thank you very much. I'm going to emphasize just the words that I have pointed here. Let's see. Ear, ear. ear. We say ear, ear. ear. I'm going to, ear. I'm going to erase it because I just cross it out, but it is not like that. It has to be like this. Ear, ear, it is not jeer, right? It is not jeer, it is ear. Set, I set a goal last year. Set, I set. Mentioned, 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 mentioned. Shy, shy. Worried, worried. Networking. Networking, surprised, surprised, trusted, trusted, gained, 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 past, 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 talk, talk. 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 En talk, tenemos una silent letter. ¿Cuál es la silent letter en talk? Letter L. Letter L. L. 
we do not pronounce letter L. That is the silent letter. We say talk. 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 That's it. Without talk. L. Then we have events. Events. Discuss. Discuss. People. People. When we say it in plural, it is people. If we say it in singular, it is person. But we don't say peoples, right? We say only people. And the last word, it is improve. 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 Okay? Now. El último ejercicio es justo con estas palabras que yo acabo de colorear. El trabajo de ustedes es classify them. Let's classify these words. In the chat box, todos en este momento, please. Everyone, in the chat box. How do you classify the word ear? Como verb, noun, adjective? How do you classify ear? Type the first one, ear. Pónganme la palabra ear y cómo la clasifica. What happened? Ya escribieron. Ok. Sorry, que me decía que no podía hacerlo. Ok, ear is a noun. Ok, yes. That's it. Number two. Set. What is set? Okay, that is was it was faster. Verb. It is a verb. Good. What is mentioned? Mentioned. Okay, Alfredo, good. Here it is a noun. Mentioned. Said it is a verb. Mentioned. It is a verb. Shy. 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 Good, Matthew. Okay. Okay, 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 guys. Okay, here we need to check. Shy. It is an it is an adjective. Shy, it is an adjective. Okay? Now, worried. 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 Okay. It is in Así como está ahí, it is a verb. But if I say, she is worried, cambia su rol. Y la última. Vamos a ir por la última. Networking. Networking. It is a noun. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Um, what did I do? 
It is the book. This. Okay. Now, try to get a screenshot para que um, you complete the exercise, así como lo hicimos, with the missing word. For example, surprised, trusted, gained, talk, events, discuss, people, improve, and past. Okay? Try to uh, take a screenshot, please. And for tomorrow, we are going to complete this. Right? In the... <clears throat> I'm going to share in, but I want to let me see. I'm savage. Tomorrow we are going to work in the exercises that we have in the platform, right? So be ready because tomorrow I want, we are going to work in the missing um, exercises that we haven't completed yet, but that will be for tomorrow, okay? Now let us just give me some minutes just because I don't find it. I don't find the carpet. As I said, when it is late, I cannot see better. Okay, guys, the attendance. Nadie me está acordando de la primera lista. ¿Se recuerdan? <laughs> okay. So, so sorry. <laughs> y es que a mí se me va completamente. Voy a poner alarmas mejor. Ok. From tomorrow on, con alarmas voy a estar trabajando. Ok. Vamos. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcantara. Present. Kid. Alma Brendalí Nieto. Elías. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric. Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Kid. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present, teacher. Kid. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present. Kid. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present. Okay. Okay, Jessica. Okay, Adilson también. José Roberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Present teacher. Karina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie. Okay, Kenia. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes. Present. Kevin Alexis Escobar. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Ok. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Ok, Mateo. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Good. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Present. 
Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present, teacher. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Ok, chicos, solo recuerden que aunque estén de oyentes, al momento de la lista tienen que abrir cámaras y responder verbalmente. Ok. Así que thank you very much for being here and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take Good night. care. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.